In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Xero's bank reconciliation functionality. What the bank reconciliation does is it imports your bank statement from your bank uh, into Xero and then it's just a case of telling Xero what all these sort of payments and receipts uh, are. So, so then Xero knows and it can account for them appropriately. For this one I've already imported my bank statement for the month and that's why it says reconcile eight items. I'd recommend you speak to your accountant about how you go about importing it as it does vary a little bank to bank. Okay, but these items are here, so let's go reconcile eight items. Okay, on the left here we have our bank statement lines. Uh, so this is just come straight from our bank account. I um, made this one up using an Excel file, uh, so what you will find is that on your actual bank statement some of these descriptions might be a bit less useful. Uh, very clear on this one. Okay, so starting off at the top and just working our way down, we want to use this create one for this because this is a, an expense that's gone out. Uh, we don't have an invoice in the system to match it against, which I'll explain a bit later. So create. We're going to put in the name of the supply. This is Capricor Online Accountants, so they are, of course, accounting fees. So let's put Capricor Online there. Account. We want to use this drop-down menu to pick the most appropriate. Um, so I think accounting and legal fees sounds pretty perfect. Description is a box here. You could leave this blank or you could just put in a little reminder for yourself. Okay, put in accounting fees and then we must look at this no VAT box. It's really important. Look at your invoices and your receipts and check if there is any VAT on there. Uh, for this one, it does have VAT, so I'm going to choose 20% VAT. What this is saying is, as part of this £96, that includes 20% VAT. So it's actually £80 plus £16 VAT. OK, so that's ready. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. OK, we have a slightly unusual one here. Uh, we've spent £2,000 um, and we've put savings account. This is actually a transfer from our business current account to our business savings account. What's happened here is that zero sees oh, we spent £2,000, and it also knows that we have an unpaid purchase invoice on the system for £2,000, so it thinks those two might be connected. It's actually wrong in this case, because, as we said, this is a transfer. So for this one, what we want to do is ignore that match, click on the Transfer tab, and select the bank account that is a transfer. So we've transferred £2,000 to our savings account, so let's do that. When you now import your business savings account statement, you'll have a received £2,000 and Xero will again make a guess that this £2,000 you received is the other side of this transfer. So let's just do OK there. OK, our next one, we have an O2 cost. So I guess that's a mobile phone bill. So we name, let's put O2 account. I actually know, I could use a drop-down menu, but I know there is an account called Telephones and Internet. So I'm just going to start typing that. There you go, telephone and internet. And description, I'm just going to write mobile phone bill. Again, do check the VAT. Uh, I, I know that mobile phones generally do have VAT on them, so I'm going to put 20% there. Okay, uh, another expense, professional institute membership fees. Uh, so let's say this is the British Computer Association, uh, BSA, um, and then we need to choose the account. Same process as before. This one's a bit harder because it might not be something so relevant, so you could use other expenses, or I think there is one subscriptions. So yeah, let's use subscriptions. And again, I'm just going to write a small description to jog my memory. I'm going to look on the invoice, and in this case, there is no VAT, so I'm just going to leave that no VAT. Okay. Okay, just four left. Uh, this one, we've paid HMRC £4,105. So that could be a number of things. I suppose it could be PAYE, it could be corporation tax, or it could be VAT. I actually know, in this case, it was VAT. So I'm going to put name, HMRC, account. Again, I'm just going to go down and find the right one. I know the right one for this. It's liabilities and it's VAT. What that means is we're paying off our VAT liability. So description, February VAT payment. Okay. Perhaps a bit funny, but any tax payment, you should always have no VAT. 
I suppose that's a, a bit weird when you're paying VAT, but okay. Right, so we now have our sales income to deal with. There's two ways this could work. Uh, you might have an agency where you need to provide a sales invoice to them, or it might just be a case of submitting a timesheet to them and then they make a payment. So what I've done here is I've done two different types. This, uh, the two 3000 ones are ones where we've raised a sales invoice. This 2000 one is we haven't raised a sales invoice. So the treatment is slightly different. So what's happened here is we've received £3,000 and Zero said, OK, we have an invoice, a sales invoice that's unpaid for £3,000. It's got a very similar date, 11th of Feb versus 12th of Feb. So is this the correct invoice to match against? In actual fact, it is. So we could just click OK there. But what I will show you is this one other possible match. So if I click on that, I can see all my outstanding sales invoices that are currently marked as unpaid. Uh, so we've got two, the two we've actually just seen. So you might have a different one here. What can happen is if you have a lot of invoices for £3,000, Zero has no way to distinguish between those, so it'll just pick one at random pretty much or, or the closest date. So you just need to make sure the right payment's going against the right invoice, but it is, so let's click OK. Okay, uh, this sale is one, as I said, where we don't have a sales invoice open, so I'm going to use the create, just like I did for the expenses. But do bear in mind, if you do have a sales invoice for this and you do a create, you're going to end up double counting the sale, which is, which is not something you want to do. So name, I'm just going to put agency number two. Account, again, use the drop-down menu. I can work my way down, but actually know right at the very bottom we have the revenue options. So this is a sale. Okay, and I'll just put agency fees there, VAT. This is a VAT registered business that I have, so I must include VAT on all my sales, so 20% VAT. Okay. And then we have one final invoice where it says £3,000. We have an invoice to match against that, so I'm just going to click OK. And just as a reminder, that will allocate the payment to the sales invoice, so the sales invoice will no longer be marked as unpaid in the system. Okay. And that's it. That's all done. If you just do this once a month, that's how you will deal with all the payments gone in and out of your bank accounts. Thanks for watching.